The man who pulled the trigger of the rifle that killed little Jia Tatua is to serve at least 15 years in jail. So too is the man who planned the drive-by attack on the Wanganui house where Jia was lying on the couch the night she was shot dead. Rachel Morton was at court to see the men being sentenced. The mongrel mob seemed proud of their gang outside Wellington's High Court today, but their patches weren't welcome inside. That's where three of their members and associates were being sentenced for the murder of a two-year-old girl, Jia Tatua. Two were sentenced for her manslaughter, one for being part of an organised criminal group. Gia, the daughter of a Black Power member, was killed in a drive-by shooting at her Wanganui home in 2007. She was particularly vulnerable because of her age. She was not able to choose to remove herself from the gang violence occurring at her home. The day of the shooting, Gia's father had been fighting with mongrel mobsters. The shooting was retribution. Stern sentences are required to be imposed in order to stop this. Deterrence not only towards you, who will be in prison, but towards mongrel mob members and other gang members, whoever they may be. The man who pulled the trigger in a bid to gain a mongrel mob patch, Hayden Wallace, and the patched member who ordered the shooting, Carl Check, were sentenced to life with a minimum non-parole period of 15 years. Wallace has 48 previous convictions, Check 17. Both have done jail time. The driver of the car, Ranji Forbes, was sentenced to life with a minimum non-parole of 12 and a half years. He has 11 previous convictions and was on bail when the murder took place. The others in the car, Eroeti Nahona, received 10 years, 3 months for manslaughter. Godfrey Murahi, 10 and a half, both ineligible for parole for 6 years. And Richard Puatawa received 3 years for being part of an organised criminal group. I'm comfortable with the, the uh, sentences. Uh, they, it reflects their uh, level of involvement and their culpability. Although gang behaviour was denounced by the judge outside the court, it was apparent few lessons have been learnt. It's been 21 months since Gia was murdered. 12 men, all mongrel mob members or associates, have now been sent to prison in connection with her death. But today it seemed the mongrel mob had few regrets. Rachel Morton, 3 News.